You okay, man? Oh yeah, I didn't touch your vehicle. Did somebody touch your vehicle? Okay, yeah, I just had a quick question though. Um, is there a reason that you're right here blocking uh, traffic when you there's this wide open parking lot right over here? So we're just trying to be observant of traffic. There's a lot of crime going on in this area. So statistically, somebody over there sitting behind a desk comes up with some statistics between a street and a street, specific times. Uh -huh. They just want visibility of officers. Okay. It's kind of like the Cooper curve. <laughs> yeah, that, you ever heard of that? Yeah, that makes sense. No, I haven't. The Cooper curve? Cooper curve. What's that? It's just like um, having presence of officers, regardless of location or area, uh -huh. kind of decreases the crime. Okay. Just, you know, having the blinking lights and things like that. Okay. So, like, if we sit in a neighborhood or go place to place to place, and it encourages people from wanting to go and commit crimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that does, it definitely makes sense. My only question then is, uh, I mean, one of the leading causes of uh, deaths and injuries in, for officers is car accidents, right? And uh, I'm just curious, you know, your presence would be just the same in that parking spot as it would in this actual travel lane, don't you think? Well, they wouldn't see me anywhere. They wouldn't see me from distance. Well, with your lights going. Typically, when we do car stops, uh -huh. we're going to get car, car stops. Kind of just in the middle of it, right? Uh huh. Oh yeah, I, I'm strongly, I mean, people, uh, off, cops are always talking about officer safety and yet they're always stopping in the road. Yeah. And, and there is a choice, there, you know, it's not like you're forced to do it, right? right. So if I, if I go there in the parking lot and I turn on my lights, nobody's really seen it back here. They're just seeing it flashing. Okay, so you want people to see you all the way up the road is what you're saying. Pretty much you. Yeah. All right. So, you want people to see you from a farther distance. Absolutely. There you go. Well, um, I've also heard that there's a war on police. In that case, shouldn't you be hiding? <laughs> What's that? I didn't do this job. Right on. Do you really believe there's a war on police, or do you not believe that rhetoric? No? I don't either. All right, man. I've served, I've served my country over 22 years. I've been in wars. I've never hid from anything. So I'm serving my community now. Talks, my family knows it's a tough job. Yeah, my family knows mine is too. Um, what do you think about that Metro officer grabbing him by the throat the other day for recording? You got grabbed by your throat? Yeah. I have no idea. I was off. What is today? <laughs> it was, it, what was it, two or three days ago? It was a while ago. Wait. What do you think of grabbing uh, photographers by the throat for filming? You know what sucks? I know you guys are doing, and I'm not going to get upset. You guys are free to film me all you want. Just, like I said, you know, sometimes officers got to draw a line. Yeah. It's like, hey, man, if I ask you to stay there, please stay there. As far as that officer doing whatever I did, did to you the other day, I can't speak to that. You okay, though? I'm, I'm okay. I'm a, I'm a little traumatized, but... Huh? It was here? Huh? Yeah. Here in Vegas, yeah. Oh. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police. Not here, not like here, physically no, not, this. Not, not right here, right here, physically, no, 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 right like here, right now. No. Was it a different area of command? It was a different area. Where, downtown? Um, yeah, it was further down. And that's the thing, I don't know. If it didn't happen here, if it didn't get big news in our area of command, I don't care. Yeah. My 11-year-old son saw it too, though, and he just sees a guy with a badge grabbing people by the throat, you know what I mean? He doesn't know what area command it is. He doesn't know what city it is, what state it is. He just sees, you know, cops grabbing people by the throat, kicking women in the head while they're handcuffed, and it makes it tough. So, But if we can get, if we can get cops to start uh, testifying against and weeding out the bad cops for us, then we'll be headed in a good direction. This is my job. I mean, everybody kind of singles me out and compares me to that police officer. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Have a good night. All right, you guys have a good night.